He'd just been racing one year when I met him, but I knew he was a race driver when I met him. <laughs> Did you like racing before you met him? Yes. Uh, it's, it's clean and competitive, and uh, it's also dangerous, but he has a great talent, and I have a lot of uh, confidence in his ability. I would imagine in an event like this, you just... Do you subconsciously wipe out all aspects of danger and just uh, pull for that number 18 out there? You try to, but it's pretty hard to get that pushed away in about, uh, oh, the first 10 laps you usually can begin to relax a little bit and concentrate on the race, but I don't watch anything on the track except Johnny. Well, when he does go out then, uh, is there a sigh of relief even though you know he's not going to win? It's kind of a mixed feeling. I'm real disappointed because I know he's extremely disappointed. I want him to do well because it's you know what he wants but uh, there's a feeling of relief yes I had to really concentrate on what I was doing to not get out of shape sometimes you, if you put your foot in it further you slow down it's a feel that you got in the seat of your pants between maximum traction and not and sometimes when they're out there you got to come back a little bit but it's a hard thing to do. Usually you want to put it right on the wood. In this natural setting in the hills around Dallas County, there's going to be 5,000 Indians perhaps this summer as the Battle of the Little Bighorn is celebrated and the National Conference on Native American Culture gets underway at Mountain View College. It's going to be quite an event and it has a twofold purpose. Not only to show us white eyes what the Indians are really like in this area, but to find out how many Indians there are in Dallas and Tarrant County. The organization is trying to get federal funds. They need to be organized a little bit better than they are now and they're trying. June 22nd is the date. A little more information about this comes from Richard Lester, who is a member of the board and appeared on Channel 8 News at noon with Gene McIntyre and Jim Mitchell. Malcolm Landis at Mountain View College, which is going to be the site of a big Indian uprising on June 22nd for Channel 8 News on the move. We're also interested in uh, furthering uh, contacts with uh, people in Washington in the interest of new international air routes to Dallas. But uh, our primary purpose is uh, in the area of transportation. Are there any particular air routes that you're looking at, particularly? Well, we're, we're looking at all of them. We want air routes to Europe, to Asia, and to South America.
Uh, I'm sure we will take more after this one. Uh, we have taken some precautions. Uh, one to the effect that he got less money than before. Do you recall how much money they got in the previous robberies? Well, the first robbery, they got $1,900. The second robbery, they got 3300 This one, they got about 900 is, is there any way to effectively prevent this type thing or stop it? Well, there are measures that you can take, but it's a very difficult thing to stop altogether. Can you tell us what you've done that cut down the amount of money taken this time? I'd rather not say. <laughs>